a beautiful mix of seaside vistas, stately homes, and unique landmarks. Not all are so picturesque in our town. From the outside, the People's Elementary School may look like a normal, small town school, but a closer look will reveal conditions far from perfect. In response to the explosive population growth of the 1950s, the Bourne Schools built the People's School. Some 63 years later, Bourne is faced with an exponentially deteriorating facility. Our custody of Bourne's children demands the highest care and margin of safety. The cost to maintain that margin is growing every year, severely impacting the effectiveness of Bourne's education dollar. Consider the following. The Annex, built in 1959, is sinking into the site. We have multiple water leaks in various components of the roof, resulting in cracked and leaking ceiling tiles. Classroom conditions, the kitchen, the cafeteria, are all showing signs of extreme wear and deterioration. Except for flooring, any areas that may contain asbestos material must be placarded to warn staff, contractors, or others of the presence of ACM, the asbestos-containing materials. Nine inch by nine inch tiles are 99% ACM. The way to maintain the margin of safety is using strong clear coats routinely applied to ensure complete encapsulation, even in cracks. If a tile comes apart, we must call a hazmat team to remove them at a great expense. Windows have a glaze or putty that seals the windows, which is ACM. This encapsulation cost will be upwards of $160,000. The systems in place in 1953 were designed based on very low fuel costs. While the district has improved the efficiency, such as converting natural gas, the expense of operation and upkeep is extraordinary. There is no insulation at Peebles. The heat is very hard to control, resulting in excessive heat in classrooms throughout the year. No AC, of course, and the electrical system is generally old, each classroom only having three or fewer outlets. In addition to the interior work at Peebles, the exterior is also in great need of repair. The brick facade, for example, has sections falling away and will need to be addressed very soon. While the rapid decline of Peebles appears to be a current event, the problem has actually been facing the voters of the town of Bourne for some 20 years. In 2009, a study for the Capital Outlay Committee showed the cost of replacing Peebles at that time. In 2012, the Massachusetts School Building Authority accepted a statement of interest from both the Board of Selectmen and the Bourne School Committee for the replacement of Peebles. On October 27th in 2014, a town meeting, the voters of the town of Bourne voted to move forward on an extensive feasibility study for the school's replacement. Some 40 plus forums and meetings with the school building committee, residents, and the Massachusetts Building Authority have led us to today, a day of decision. There are three options. We can do nothing and keep going the way we've gone with Peebles. We can fix Peebles, or we can build a new school. Today, we're looking at a project cost of just under 40 million, $39.9 million. It's 11 and a half million more than what it was in 2009. If we do nothing, what will it be in 10 years? If we try to fix Peebles, we certainly can, but the cost is still staggeringly high to the town. In addition, we will not have the participation of the MSBA, the School Building Association. We have an opportunity to build a school for less than what it would have cost us in the town of Bourne in 2009. With MSBA's participation, $15 million of those expenses of that 39.9 will be paid by that one cent of sales tax that's already been collected. If the town of Bourne elects not to use it, then it will go to some other town. But more importantly, where do we stand then? Make no mistake about it. Peebles needs your help. It's time for us to take care of the ones who don't vote and need our help 
more than anybody in this community.